welcome to the Redefined Podcast. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, we're going to continue the conversation, uh, as uh, I mentioned in the last episode, um, talking about business, where the marketing is at, where my content creation is at, and, and, and how I got everything back on track, the process that I went through to get to where it is right now. Um, and, you know, if you missed that last episode, go ahead and listen to it. That was talking about getting my health back on track. Um, and this is, this, is, this is what I've been going through the last few months, right? Getting the health back on track and then, of course, getting business back on track. And then, of course, projecting forward with the goals, the really, the really yeah, pretty ambitious goals that I have for the next 6 to 12 months, not just for myself, but obviously for all of you listening. Now, before I get into the meat and potatoes of this episode, I do want to ask you a quick favor. This show is is not monetized. None of this podcast is monetized. Um, I would like to, as much as possible, keep giving away this free content to help you on your marketing journeys, on your journey as you build your social influence, as you uh, create content and publish content, building your business. So and what would help me continue to do that is if you share this podcast, right? Go ahead and hit that share button, send it to somebody um, uh, that that you think could benefit from this information. Uh, if you like this, if you like the content, if you like the show, chances are somebody else will too as well. Um, so go ahead and share it for me. It would be doing me a really, really huge solid. Okay, that out of the way. Uh, today, I want to talk about my foray back into business. And part of it really, uh, I mean, it, it, it starts from my mindset, right? Um, through the funeral and, and you know, the, the months afterwards, uh, I really, yeah, like I said, I wasn't in a headspace that I, I just didn't want to handle um, business or, or think about any of that, right? Think about keeping up with my social media and my content creation. Um, I just wanted to let it be and, and allow myself the space to process the things that I needed to process. And so, uh, as I mentioned in yesterday's episode, or not yesterday's, in the last episode, um, I talked about how, you know, physically I was drinking a lot to numb the emotions. I was also eating for comfort. And from a mindset standpoint, um, I filled my time with distraction, with distraction. Um, well, I was also spending a lot of time with family and friends, reconnecting with people that I hadn't spent a lot of time with over the years. And so that was that was also very nice and, and healing. Uh, but uh, outside of that, I was I was definitely yeah just focused on distracting my mind, right to get my mind uh, elsewhere. Um, and so I really pretty much stopped listening to my usual podcast. I had a you know I have a playlist of, of podcasts that I that I follow that I really you know ha- help me on my day to day from a marketing standpoint, from a personal development standpoint. But I, I cut all of that off. I also stopped listening to audio books. Um, you know I'm I'm always listening to a marketing or a business book and and a personal development book, a mindset book. Uh, but that was all cut off because again, I didn't I didn't want any of that at that time. Um, during that period, all I, all I had wanted was distraction. Um, around the same time as I was getting my health back on track, this was again late August, I think, mid to late August. I started getting business back on track, or at least getting my head prepared to to get my <laughs> to get back into into business. Um, I had honestly intended on taking much more time off um, from all of it, right? From all of it. And and that's one of the cool things about network marketing is you can build a residual income that allows you to take as much time off as you need. If you build it to to the degree that that can um, that can sustain itself that way. Right. And and I thought I, I was going to be able to do that. Right. I had really well actually um, wanted to take the entire rest of the year off uh, off as in, you know, away from business and and content creation and publishing and not having to think about any of it. Um, Unfortunately, there were some things happening with my company, uh, the company that I'm a distributor with, um, that required me getting back into the field sooner than I had intended. Now, in hindsight, I'm glad that happened because um, part of part of what was keeping me in a depressive state um, was that I was pretty aimless, right? I had no idea. I didn't, yeah, I didn't have a a clear idea of what I wanted uh, my future to look like moving forward after the passing of my dad. I mean, obviously my life has drastically changed um, 
uh, in terms of my just simple living situation. I live by myself now. My sister used to live with me, but um, she's now living full time with mom. Um, and I'm going back and forth from, from here to mom's place pretty regularly. Uh, and it's not a short drive, like it's a five hour trip one way. Um, so, so there's a lot of, there, there was a lot of shifts in, in just, you know, my living situation. And, 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 you know, it's just a lot of question marks, right? Not knowing what, um, what the, uh, what the, you know, next six to 12 months and beyond was going to be like for me. And, and as a result, you know, the extension of that is not really having a purpose. And so I was, uh, you know, I had stayed in, in, you know, a pretty, pretty deep depression, um, Again, thankfully, I, I was surrounded with family and, and, you know, people that I really care about, really, really close friends um, that I could just, just, you know, hang out with and be with without, without any agenda whatsoever. And so that was, that was very, very helpful. But I knew eventually that, that I had to get on track and I had to figure out what I wanted to do. Now, the network marketing situation, my network marketing business really kind of dictated that. Um, the, some things were hitting the fan. <laughs> <laughs> so to speak, right? Some of some of the things that uh, that were happening internally with my company in the corporate office um, had really, yeah, had a negative negative uh, uh, ripple effect in the field and in my business, right? Uh, my, a lot of my leaders were incredibly incredibly dissatisfied. Not my leaders, but the leaders in my organization on my team. Um, uh, yeah, very very dissatisfied, and and you know there was there was a, a massive disengagement um in activity right uh, like in in the company so so the the field started to disengage my organization started to disengage top down um and that's this is completely separate from what was going on with me i know you know speed of the leader speed of the pack but uh, you know the the organization for the most part was was incredibly supportive of the time i needed to take off uh but what was happening um, in in the the business itself from from corporate and and the reverberations as a result of that, uh, yeah yeah it really rippled rippled down my organization and so I I had to get back into the foray um, into the fray yeah that's a good one that's a good poem by the way is if you guys haven't uh, haven't read that uh, I heard about that poem this complete aside heard about that poem um, or I heard that poem on a Liam Neeson movie I can't remember the gray I think it was uh, what it's called. But he, yeah, anyways, uh, total, total uh, tangent there. Uh, back into the fray, right? Back into the fray. Um, and so, yeah, yeah. Now, when the time, but at the time I had, uh, I had um, gotten back into the field for network marketing, my network marketing business, I was, I was actually also doing DoorDash. <laughs> I was doing DoorDash, right? Um, uh, for extra cash, I, I, I was seeing my, you know, I was seeing my income, um, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty significantly um, start to drop. So I had to do something immediately to not really supplement. I mean, it's, it's, still, a, it's still a pretty significant income. Um, but uh, just to have some extra cash um, to, keep, uh, to keep things, uh, well, yeah, to kind of stop the bleeding, right? Uh, to plug the holes in, in my own, uh, in my own um, budgets. Um, so I was doing DoorDash. Uh, and, you know, I was really thinking, yeah, well, I could do this uh, pretty much indefinitely and, and be happy. It gets me out of the house, right? Otherwise, I would just be up here by myself 24-7. So it, it, it got me active. It got me out of the house. And the added benefit was that, you know, it put a little extra playing cash, um, uh, pl play money, play money in my pocket, right? Right. And so I was doing that, getting back and then getting back into the field with uh, with my network marketing business with Yoli. And and so now I have purpose right now. I have purpose now. I Now, you know, the vision starts to get a little clearer of what I want to do. I mean, I definitely don't want to do DoorDash uh, full time for the rest of my life. Um, my car wouldn't even be able to handle it. And, you know, I'm an hour away from from town. So, you know, it takes a lot out both from <laughs> on the vehicle and on myself. Um, you know, I like, I, I like doing it as kind of, you know, uh, a pastime and a, and, a, and, and a little side hustle, but it definitely isn't sustainable. Um, so I knew I had to get my business back on track, my network marketing business, as well as, you know, this stuff, right? The marketing, the podcast, um, the, the content creation and publishing, right? The courses, there's, there's a lot on, on, uh, on the pipeline, in the pipeline um, that I really want to uh, put out there. Uh, because the network marketing, honestly, the network marketing profession needs it, 
right? Needs it. Uh, getting back into work, into the field, um, not only did I realize how much, how behind we are as a company and, and the practices that we have, um, you know, just, yeah, old school network marketing, right? Um, how kind of behind and, 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 well, behind the times it is, um, but all of network marketing really is, is way behind the times, right? Way behind the times. And, and the, the unwillingness to have other conversations about how we do business and, and how we generate uh, profit and income um, is, it, well, it, we run the risk of, of going extinct, um, not only as a company, but as a, as a profession. So um, I have some really ambitious, bi- ambitious things that I was already kind of getting to at the beginning of the year, right, with the redefined network marketing event, um, uh, uh, network marketing in the digital age training, the influencer masterclass that I did. So I'm going to continue with that and, and, you know, really develop those courses and, and those assets uh, to bit better arm you, right? To to give you to give you things that actually work um, in the modern age, in the uh, the things that are relevant and 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 pertinent and that work in the marketplace right now, right? All right. So um, there's that aspect of of the things that I'm building, and then of course network marketing, my network marketing business with Yoli. It's pretty much yeah. It's it's a I don't want to say restart. But a lot of it is a rebuild for me. And so, um, yeah, there's, there's putting out content uh, out there that will attract people into my organization. Um, uh, so, so that's two-prong, right? The content is to attract people in, in, and, and help them with their own content creation and their own network marketing business. But I'm going to be putting out content specifically on YouTube to attract more people into my own business. Um, and, uh, and yeah, give them that training, uh, you know, that, that I'm going to be providing um, to the rest of the world as well. So, yeah, really, really ambitious in the sense of it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of do or die time right now. That's <laughs> uh, the reality. It's the reality of, of where we are as a company, unfortunately. Again, the, the things were very, very tumultuous um, over, over the summer, and it's still kind of rocky right now. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm faced, I'm faced with a very imminent mission and, and purpose of spearheading, well, not really spearheading, but being at least one of the, the voices of reason to spearhead, um, rebuilding and, and saving, saving the freaking company to not, not to put too fine a point on it. <laughs> and I've been saying that phrase a lot, but yeah, I mean, that, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's going to, it's, it's going to be a fight for sure. It's going to be a fight. So this is, this is, uh, it, yeah, it's, it's another, it's another, uh, 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 uh What's the, I can't remember the exact line in the poem, but back into the fray, back into the fray. Um, um, my hope, my hope is to get uh, b- rebuild my organization to where it was, you know, two three years ago. Um, within the next six to twelve months, and then and then twelve months and beyond, um, rebuild my organization and my business it, to what it was, you know, five to ten years ago when when things were really really rocking. Um, and, you know, what that means for all of you listening to this podcast is if, if you're a network marketer and if you want to participate, um, yeah, you can, number one, help me do that. But in helping, in helping me do that, you, you help yourself uh, build an build a income and a legacy, right? Um, so anyways, that was, that was a, uh, just a, yeah, a pitch on, on joining my business. But uh, if you're looking, only if you're looking, only if you're looking for an opportunity. Um, if you're a an influencer, if you're uh, an affiliate, um, and and here, here's the thing, yeah, you can quote me on this too. Uh, the lines between affiliate marketing and influencer marketing and 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 network marketing are really starting to blur. If you if we allow them to, right? Especially from a network marketing standpoint, I think network marketers really just want to be very insular. We are we are network marketers, right? And this is what we do. This is how business is, and this is the type of income and how you create it. Well, if you if you broaden that conversation with content creation and and influencers and affiliate marketing, then then it just it, it, you know when 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 we take out the, the, the delineation, um, we open up ourselves for more opportunity of growth. It's, it's really that simple. So, so that's, that's 
where my head is at. And, and so, okay, so getting back to how I got back into all of this is what, well, this has been on my mind, right? Um, these are the ideas. These are, these are some of the things that, that, that I, that I have a vision on and, and it's the vision is, is ever changing, but it's, it's becoming more and more uh, concrete. It's becoming more and more solidified um, the, the trajectory and the direction that I want that vision to go given what's happening in network marketing, given what's happening in my own company, Yoli, given what's happening in the marketplace, in social media with the influencer marketing and the influ influencer economy, the affiliate economy. Um, we have to have this bigger conversation. And so uh, that's what that's kind of where like everything, everything, you know, since I got back into the field, that, that's that's everything that's kind of been brewing in my mind. Right. Right. Uh, and, you know, it's through the help of a lot of the stuff I've been listening to. Obviously, I've gotten back on my regimen of personal development. Um, and I've also started listening to, you know, to marketing stuff as well. And the recommendation that I have for you, the, the, the two book recommendations and, and the podcast rec recommendation, actually. The first one is evolve your brain, evolve your brain. One of the most important things that we really have to understand as entrepreneurs, as business people, even as, you know, if you're, if, if you're listening to this and you're not an entrepreneur, um, it's so important to understand how your mind works. And, and well, because, I mean, ultimately we all deal with adversity, whatever type of adversity that might be. Um, in, in this particular instance, it's, you know, the death of my father, um, the death of my dad, and the things that the challenges that I personally faced um, with that. And then, you know, obviously there's there's the adversity that we all naturally face if you're an entrepreneur, right? Those ups and downs and, and those challenges that we all face with me personally. Again, it's it's the fact that there's a there was there has been a sharp decline in my business and and the and the turbulence and, and you know, all the stuff that's going on in the corporate office. Um, we need to be able to handle that and handle these adversities as they come because the adversities are unavoidable. And so getting really, really self-aware and, and knowing how your mind works and why you're acting and behaving and why, why you make the decisions that you make, it, it's, it's really, really important. That's why mindset really, I mean, it's, it's the, yeah, it's the first thing. It's, it's the most important thing that you'll have to work on as an entrepreneur or really just as a human being. So this book, Evolve Your Brain by Joe Dispenza. It's, it's really, really good. It's really good. Um, a lot of science. So, so it's, there's a lot of neuroscience. So some of it is very dry, but the science needs to be there to, to really um, illustrate the point and, and the message that, that Dr. Joe Dispenza is trying to get across. And, and that is that we create our own realities. And, and, and so it's very, very empowering. You have to be willing to get through a lot of that neuroscience. I mean, for me, it's, it's fascinating, right? Um, but that's not everybody's ball of wax. But get through it, be willing to get through it and, and pay attention and really get it in, uh, get those ideas in your mind, because it'll give you that much more leverage over yourself. And, and, and when you're faced with adversity and how you deal with that adversity, right? All right. So again, that's Evolve Your Brain by Joe Dispenza. Uh, the second book is $100 Million Leads by Alex Hermosi. Many of you listening to this probably have already heard about it. Um, it's his most recent book. I think he's coming out with a, as, as a set or as a trilogy. But um, yeah, $100 Million Leads recommended to me by a good friend, Mr. Michael DaCosta. Mike sent me actually a free copy. He gave me, a, he gifted me a copy of this. And so um, I wanted to make sure I, I didn't just shelve it and and you know really you know show him the appreciation for that gift by by reading it and listening to it um and uh yeah well it, it's a great recommendation and i thank mike for that because it really um uh well a lot of the stuff it, for me i i was already kind of aware of of the process and it expanded it expanded my existing my existing marketing um knowledge you know like a alex talks a lot about advertising and and he um he comes from that background right and that's how he's built his his empire um and so it's really yeah like like i said it it, it for me personally it's uh it has uh, validated 
um, a lot of everything that that I've I've been teaching here on the show and and on uh, on my content uh, that I publish. But it's also expanded uh, expanded a lot of that knowledge base into things that I wasn't really thinking about yet. And so, um, from a business standpoint, if you have any kind of business whatsoever, whether it's network marketing, whether it's a traditional business, whether it's a retail business, whether it's a direct to consumer business, whatever kind of business it is, you need to you need to read this book and also then um yeah just listen to his podcast he's got a podcast um i can't remember what it's called but look up look up alex hermosi and he he mentions it a handful of times in the uh in the book itself so you'll be able to um excuse me you'll be able to uh to find it pretty easily uh alex hermosi 100 million dollar leads right? $100 million lead. So um, those are my recommendations, right? If, you, if, if you're finding yourself especially kind of stagnant, that will really help. Um, and it's enough, these two books will be enough to kind of get that ball rolling in, in terms of what, you know, what you're, um, what you're craving and what, you're, what your mind needs uh, to, to, yeah, to, well, yeah, what your ni- mind needs and is looking for, right? Uh, for, what, that, that nourishment that, that your mind needs, um, uh, you know, it, uh, on wherever you are in your particular journey, right? Whether, whether you're a little stagnated or, you're, you know, you're on a roll, um, I think these books will definitely help keep that, uh, get that ball rolling or keep that ball rolling, right? All right, so that's, that's, been, my, um, that's been my journey. That's been my journey. Uh, the other, the other uh, I guess, vision and goal that I have set out for the next 6 to 12 months is um, really... And, and this is very specific to my organization and my network marketing business, starting to do my own events, right? Really getting the, the, the events um, to a size and scope where it's feeding uh, the needs of the field. And, you know, obviously we're going to be starting small, but, it, you know, uh, 30 to 50, but eventually filling, you know, filling coliseums and stadiums um, with these events, right? Like, like the old, um, what was it? Bill Britt. I, I was a part of the Bill Britt organization back in the days, um, back in you know twenty plus years ago when I, when I first started network marketing and he used to have team events in in coliseums right and so uh, in, in stadiums and so I'm like man that's that's something to build towards right and 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 you know create kind of less reliance on the corporate um, the corporate office to do those events for me right because I mean heck there's no reason why I can't right there's no reason why I can't so. Um, again, if that's something that, that, that sparks your interest, I, I'm, uh, yeah, I have pretty lofty and ambitious goals for my network marketing business. Um, hit me up, let's talk and, and let's see what we can do together. Uh, beyond that, uh, yeah, well, the, the, the ball keeps on rolling with the podcast. These episodes are a little longer, um, right now because I, I'm trying to get a lot of information in there per episode so that we can get caught up quickly. And also they're, you know, they're not being released every day like they used to be. So, uh, I want to give you I want to give you a little bit more than I was giving you per episode in um, uh, as I was doing in the past. So so yeah, just expect that and and uh, we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. I, the last message here we go. The last message um, is yeah. Well, with the purpose and and you know my being pretty aimless for a few months, wandering, um, and and that resulting in. Uh, you know, well, yeah, yeah, keeping me in depression, uh, in a de- depressed state because not not knowing what my purpose is. Um, the universe has a way. Number okay, so this is the first message. The universe has a way of of putting things in front of you that potentially can be avenues, right? Crossroads um, and and paths to choose from. I mean, actually, really, in the present moment, you have an infinite paths, infinite choice of paths in front of you to to, to make. Um, infinite paths of cho- of choices. Uh, I think you guys know what I mean. That that, that was completely backwards. Um, but there's infinite paths in front of you, and uh, and that that we can make um, at any given moment uh, in the present moment. And as you know, if if you're looking for purpose, um, then just be willing and open to listen to the universe and 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 see what options are are out there for you. And then the next message is. Purpose isn't actually given or, or, you know, I like, I know from the story that I shared about my company, um, you know, and all the stuff that was happening over the summer and it kind of just pulled me back into the field before I had wanted to be back in the field. Um, and therefore the purpose was, was kind of, um, shoved 
on me or, or, or you know, shoved, shoved, in, shoved to me. The purpose was, um, yeah, well, yeah, it was put upon me, right? Um, it seems that way. However, however, the, the, the reality of it is, is that we get to choose. We get to choose the purpose, right? Um, even, even with that, that specific circumstance, I had a choice whether or not I wanted to re-engage back into the business or whether or not I wanted to walk away, whether I wanted to, you know, find another company, whether I wanted to just retire from network marketing altogether and, and become full-time, um, you know, content creator and, and, uh, and, and digital course creator, right. And, and develop a new career out of that. Um, so it wasn't, it wasn't so much that, that a purpose was thrust upon me. It was that I actually chose a purpose. And so if you find yourself, if you find yourself kind of lost, listless, um, just meandering about, uh, you know, without purpose in life, look at what's in front of you, see, be, be open and willing to see the infinite paths that you can choose from and choose and decide. You get to choose the purpose. You get to choose what you want your life to look like um, every day every day as a matter of fact and and so um yeah yeah i i want i want to i want to give you that message and close it close it with that because i want you to be feel empowered uh, and and not just at the whim of circumstance uh you know the the last i don't know five six months it, it may seem that this from the story that i've i've woven and and that i've shared with you here on the show it may seem that i was a victim of circumstance but you know it, it's really much more than that yes circumstance happens but it's the choices we make within those circumstances that determine the trajectory of our lives. And we have much more choice than you might think. With the, the health situation, I was aware, I, I, intention, I was very intentional and aware that I was choosing to not stay on top of my health because that's what I needed at the time. Um, I was intentionally choosing not to, um, you know, listen. And I was aware and, and intentional, and, and uh, I understood that not listening to, you know, the podcast and the personal development during that time um, was going to create zero engagement in, in any of it, right, in business and content creation. But it's what I needed at that, at that time. I needed uh, distraction. I wanted and I craved distraction. Um, and, and, and that was a choice, right? It, was, I, it, wasn't, it wasn't just happening because of circumstance. That was a choice, as was the choice to get back on my health, as, as was the choice to get back into business and to get back into doing this show, to get back into content creation and publishing, to get back into network marketing and creating a vision, right? And, and when you do that, the universe has a, has a beautiful way of lining up with you and putting the right people in your path putting the right people in your path. People are attracted to, to, um, to you when you have vision, when you have a purpose behind that vision, and, and, and they're inspired by that. And a lot of times they'll follow you on that journey, right? They'll follow you on that journey. So I hope to inspire you. I hope to, uh, that this has empowered you as well. And of course, uh, more to come from me. Another episode next Tuesday. Uh, again, we're going to keep the cadence of this show uh, Tuesday and Thursday for now. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. So until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.